Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 200 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok. We are excited to have you here. Let's get started. Day 200, July 19th, 2022. 365 days, Bible reading, Old Testament, Amos 8 and Amos 9. New Testament, Romans 5, 12 to 21, Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 17, 15 to 24. Old Testament and IV version, Amos 8, 1 to 14. A basket of ripe fruit. This is what the sovereign Lord showed me. A basket of ripe fruit. What do you see, Amos? He asked. A basket of ripe fruit fruit i answered then the lord said to me the time is ripe for my people israel i will spare them no longer in that day declares the sovereign lord the songs in the temple would turn to wailing many many bodies flung everywhere silence hear this you would trample the needy and do away with the poor of the land, saying, When will the new moon be over, that we may sell grain, and the Sabbath be ended, that we may market with, skimping on the measure, boosting the price, and cheating with dishonest skills, buying the poor with silver, and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the sweepings with the wheat. The Lord has sworn by himself. The pride of Jacob. I will never forget anything they have done. Will not the land tremble for this, and all will live in it mourn? The whole land will rise like the Nile. I will be, it will be stirred up and then sink like the river of Egypt. In that day, declares the sovereign Lord, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn their religious festivals into mourning and all your singing into weeping. I will make all of you wear sackcloth and shave your heads. I will make that time like mourning for an only son and the end of it like a bitter day. The days are coming, declares the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or a thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. In that day, the lovely young woman and strong young men will faint because of thirst. Those who swear by the sin of Samaria will say, As surely as your God lives, Dan, or as surely as the God of Beersheba lives, they will fall never to rise again. Amos 9, 1 to 15. Israel to be destroyed. I saw the Lord standing by the altar and he said, strike the tops of the pillars so that the thresholds shake. Bring them down on the heads of all the people. Those who are left, I will kill with the sword. Not one will get away. None will escape. Though they dig down, to the depths below, from there my hand will take them. Though they climb up to the heavens above, from there I will bring them down. Though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, there I will hunt them down and seize them. Though they hide from my eyes at the bottom of the sea, there I will command the serpents to bite them. Though they are driven into exile by their enemies, there I will command the sword to slay them. I will keep my eye on them for harm and not for good. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, he touches the earth and it melts, and all will live in it mourn. The whole land rises like the Nile, then sinks like the river of Egypt. He built his lofty palace in the heavens and sets its foundation on the earth. 
He calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land. The Lord is his name. Are not you Israelites the same to me as the Cushites? Declares the Lord. Did I not bring Israel up from Egypt, the Philistines from Kaphtor, and the Arameans from Kir? Surely the eyes of the sovereign Lord are on the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from the face of the earth, yet I will not totally destroy the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord. For I will give the command, and I will shake the people of Israel among all the nations as grains is shaken in a sieve, and not a pebble will reach the ground. All the sinners among my people will die by the sword, or those who say disaster will not take over or meet us. Israel's Restoration In that day I will restore David's fallen shelter, I will repair its broken walls and restore its ruins and will rebuild it as it used to be, so that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations that bear my name, declares the Lord who will do these things. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the one treading grapes. Hallelujah. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. And I will bring my people Israel back from exile. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant Israel in their own land, never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Glory to God. New Testament NIV version, Romans 5, 12 to 21. Death through Adam, life through Christ. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death, through sin and in this way death came to all people because all sinned to be sure sin was in the world before the law was given but sin is not charged against anyone's account where there is no law nevertheless death reigned from the time of adam to the time of moses even over those who do, did not sin by breaking a command as did adam who is a pattern of the one to come but the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many? Nor can the gift of God be compared with the result of one man's sin. The judgment followed one sin and brought condemnation but the gift followed many trespasses and brought justification hallelujah for if by the trespass of one man death reigned through that one man how much more will those who receive god's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man jesus christ glory to god consequently just as one trespass resulted in condemnation for all people so also one righteous act resulted in justification and life for all people for just as through the disobedience of the one man the many were made sinners so also through the obedience of the one man the many will be made righteous hallelujah the law was brought in so that the trespass might increase but where sin increased grace increased all the more so that just as sin reigned in death so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through jesus christ our lord hallelujah psalms and proverbs proverbs 17 verse 15 to 24 acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent the lord detests them both why should fools have money in hand to buy wisdom when they are not able to understand it a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity one who has no sense shakes hands in pledge and puts up security for a neighbor Whoever loves or quarrel loves sin. Whoever builds a high gate invites destruction. 
one whose heart is corrupt does not prosper one whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble to have a fool for a child brings grief there is no joy for a parent of a godless fool a cheerful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones the wicked accept bribes in secret to pervert the course of justice a discerning person keeps wisdom in view but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth hallelujah wow amazing scriptures thank you lord jesus amen please if you're here and you would like to make jesus your personal lord and savior it will be my utmost pleasure to lead you in this amazing prayer of salvation please repeat after me believing in your heart every single word you say say lord jesus i confess my sins and i ask for your forgiveness please come into my heart as my lord and savior take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the holy spirit thank you lord for saving me and for answering my prayer in jesus name amen congratulations if you said the prayer we are so excited to welcome you into god's family can you go ahead send us an email to salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com let us know you gave your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk hallelujah god bless you thank you so much for being around here with me again today please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo aruleba it's been a pleasure having you here today i look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow have a blessed day today i love you bye